Now I feel like we gotta address the elephant in the room, and I don't mean that one right there. You have no face. Why are you completely faceless? I just blew up so quickly and then it kind of became a part of like the fan art and a part of the community so quickly. It was not a calculated move. It was just kind of like something that happened. You almost didn't have enough time to be like, okay, time to switch up the content, put my face in it. It just kept going. I feel like it all kind of like came together in this way where it was kind of the perfect storm. How many people that you know online have ever seen what you look like? Only a couple. I mean, obviously I live with uh, Sapnap. But all the other people that you're constantly playing games with have never seen your face. George has never seen your face. I mean, no. <laughs> <laughs> As you can, people, I've never said that. People are going to be like, oh, come on, George, really? Like, people people think that Alyssa, who's a really good friend of all of ours, who used to be on the Dream SMP, she's seen my face and it's like, she brags about it and like Saf Nepple brag about it to George, like as a joke, like, oh, ha ha, like you haven't. Do your IRL friends and family, obviously, know who you are? A lot of them do, not not all of them. Really? So there's some people that you're close-ish to that don't know? I'd say my, my closest friends and my closest family know. There's definitely people that I'm close-ish with. I have no idea, but. Has anyone that you know like talked about Dream or Minecraft that you haven't revealed? Oh yeah, into? they're talking about like Minecraft creators and mentioning like the Dream SMP or something. And it's like, okay. What does that feel like knowing that you are part of something that someone who knows you well enough to like talk to you in person like, has no like idea. Hannah Montana. Yeah, are you gonna like burst through on the stage Take and be the like, it's me, bitch. To what extent do you go to make sure that you remain anonymous? Like, are you taping over all of your webcams, like your, your iPhone camera and all that stuff? I mean, I've done that since like I was young. So that's just kind of like, oh, I think yeah. when you know about technology, usually you're kind of like True. iffy about that stuff. I don't, please don't hack my webcam, please. <laughs> Again, I think it's mostly just COVID. Like everyone's so used to like wearing a mask and not going many places. Has anyone Want to recognize your voice in public? I, I don't want to get into it, but <laughs> okay. Okay. you can take okay. that as an answer. Okay, I'll take that. Do you think remaining faceless has actually contributed to your success? I think it has, but I think it's more of that it's unique, I guess. So it's something to talk about. True. That is like one of the things that's attached to your description, I feel. There's like a lot of mystery, obviously, and that kind of creates some sort of like hype of like, oh, like this is cool. And I think the fan art's really cool. I think that's a benefit. Please don't stop doing that once I face reveal. Keep, keep doing that. Do not stop the fan art. Um, but I think the biggest downside is just not being able to express myself fully. I want to be able to do things that you can't do. Like, let's say go and meet people. It's restricting on the things that I can actually do and being able to like do like TikToks or, or, or different forms of content. It hasn't had a negative effect. I think it's had a positive effect.